Oh man, what am I gonna do for lunch today? Oof. What am I gonna do for lunch today, man? I'll probably get a foot long sandwich. Sounds about right. It's been like two weeks since I had some Subway. I just like, I look forward to eating that Subway sandwich, man. You know how like people with alcoholism get a dopamine rush when the first alcoholic drink touches their lips? That's me when I bite into the little cylindrical piece of bread at the end. The, the piece before you even get like a topping, when it's just bread, I'm like, oh yeah. I can feel my brain lighten up. There's something wrong with it. You're right, you know, Subway should sell a square foot long. Like a sandwich that's a square foot. It could be like four inches by three inches. <laughs> it's fucking stupid, man. It doesn't make any damn sense. Like a foot long is probably a square foot. No, I was gonna say that a... Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I was, I was gonna say a foot long is already like a square foot long. But then I was like, there's no way that shit is 11 inches long and like 1.16 inches thick. That thing's like... It's like two and a half inches thick. Also, something about the cheese they use at the Subway, man. I don't know what it is, but it turns into like delicious saran wrap when it's toasted. I would never tell you this Subway is actually good. I'm just saying, like, I like it. Everybody knows it's bad. Hold on, let's go to r slash Subway. Take a look at some of the top posts here. Bro, I do get, I get annoyed sometimes. We're going to top post this month, next time I have some space. Something that comes up all the time on the Subway subreddit is being mad at customers who just buy a ham sandwich and it comes to like $9.50. And then they say something like, oh, if you just go to the store, you can buy the ingredients a lot cheaper. Yeah, let, while I'm out, let me just go to the grocery store and buy a pound of ham and a pound of bread and then eat the sandwich and then let that shit rot in my backpack for the next eight hours until I get home. Like, the, our Subway's got a lot of good points, but like, why don't you just relax, okay? Someone's going to your business and buying a ham sandwich. Like, just say, here's your sandwich. I don't want to be, I don't buy a ham sandwich because I buy the ingredients cheaper at the grocery store. I buy the so-called oven roasted chicken breast that I'm sure was sous vide in like a huge vat and then shipped to the franchisee and is only 43% chicken anyway, but I like the way it tastes, okay? Sweet onion is dope. That's my wife's Subway order. I can tell you right now. Hey, can I get a foot long on Italian herbs and cheddar? Sweet onion chicken teriyaki, please. Cheese and toasted. I mean, do you even got an ax? Let me in, let me in. Uh, and then they say everything on it, and I say, we'll start with the guacamole slash avocado, because you got to do that before they put the lettuce on. Then I say lettuce, tomato, sweet onion sauce, and that one's good. And then they say, what should we put on the footlong M&M cookie sandwich you made us order, sir? And I say everything. And then after the lettuce is on, I say, give me the avocado. So they got to use the ice cream scoop to put the avocado on top of the shredded lettuce. And they use the knife to try to spread it, but it's already connected to the lettuce substrate. There's nothing they can... It doesn't move. It just sort of globs a little bit. I'm doing my part at Subway, by the way, because everybody... Every time they say any sauces, I say yellow mustard, please. Their hand goes straight to the honey mustard, and then they correct and go to the yellow mustard, which to me means... I'm the only motherfucker ordering yellow mustard at Subway, which means I got to keep ordering the yellow mustard. Otherwise, they're going to start deprecating that shit. So if you get yellow mustard at Subway, thank you. And also, you're welcome. Why don't you just say mustard? Well, because they have like four mustards. They have like yellow mustard, smoky honey mustard. You know what they need? Subway could... I I feel like the, the, what they should have done in the Eat Fresh Refresh, I'm very passionate about this, as you can tell. Instead of investing a bunch of money to get new signs made to pretend they've got new sandwiches, why don't they just get, like, a couple premium ingredients that are actually not that expensive versus what they already serve? For example, is there any reason that Subway can't have, like, a Dijon or a spicy mustard? Like, you're a sandwich place. That should be, like... One of the first things that you... Why, why you got such an anemic mustard selection when you sell sandwiches? You would think that would be like one of the main things you try to get right. Yeah, how about some pickled ingredients, man? 
You get some, like a, like a pickled uh, onion or something like that? I guess they do have hot peppers and pickled jalapenos, which are like... Oh no. When you get pickles at Subway, they either give you four or 35. It's a little, like, and they've been getting a little stingy. I know inflation's uh, hitting everybody. But now, I they used to just take the olives and go like... But now the Subway I go to, they count out three olives per six inches. And they put it on top of, like, one of the three cucumbers each. And then on top of one of the three pickles each. And I'm like, oh. I mean... I'm not that business pilled, I guess, but like, I feel like if you're at the point where you gotta count out individual cucumber slices, you're probably going out of business. Why not make some people's days on the way out by giving them a handful of black olives or something? Hold on, I'm looking at r slash subway. So this is how my morning went, and it's a, it's a picture of a receipt that I can only describe as at least six feet long. The total is $225. Six inch pizza sub, six inch pizza, six inch pizza, six inch. Oh my God, they're all six inch. It's like, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. It looks like that's about 32 six inch pizza subs. That's just, you're kind of a dickhead. You got to spread that around to more subways, man. Or you got to, you got to like call in the day before or something so they can have like another guy to help you make those pizzas. Cause like, that's too much. They probably, have you ever been in a subway in the 2020s? There's one person working. They're proofing the bread. They're cutting the, the vegetables. They're serving and doing the checkout. This is not like 2005 when every subway had like... One person would take your order and put it in the toaster. And then one person would put the vegetables on it. And then another person would check you out. And then they had a person wiping down the tables. Every single one of those restaurants is being run by a single... 22 year old individual right now you gotta cut them some slack man they're all being they it used to be like a five-star restaurant now it's like it's staffed the way that they staff like boba tea joints it's just one high school student keeping the whole economy going you, you gotta cut them some slack man they're doing their best to get the sandwiches out there it really i mean like i don't drink uh boba tea but i i get it for kate sometimes every time i go to a boba tea place i'm like huh they got you, you're doing everything in this joint, huh? I hope that like the, the 16 year olds who are running the boba restaurants get like an ownership. Share? No! I got wedged and I'm in an untenable position. I would not want to work at a boba place. The menus are like so fucking, like I, I've, I've ordered boba tea like 50 times. I still get intimidated. It's like how 50 year old Idahoans think like Starbucks is an intimidating place to order. That's how I feel when I go to boba tea. Uh, do you want... Uh, I'll take a, a peach mango with pearls. Oh, do you want a milk tea, a black tea, a green tea, or a real fruit slush? And I'm like... None of this was included in the text I got from my wife. 50% sugar, 20%... Some places are 25, 50, 75, 100. Some places are 20, 50, 70, 100. There's no consistency. How much sugar do you want in that? I don't know. You're the expert. Don't you make like 250 of these a damn day? Why don't you tell me how much sugar I should have in it? 200% sugar. <laughs> Treetop tumble. 100% reason to remember the name. True, true. Sorry, I don't know how to order bubble tea. I'm a Coke Zero drinker who was born in November. Your owner needs to set a limit on the number of sandwiches allowed on any remote order. Ours tops out at six. Honestly, that makes a lot of sense. Oopsie. Okay, I see a post that has the, the the bread has landed in the cleaning bucket. Ooh. If it was the subway near me, they'd probably serve it, honestly. And you know what? If I was the motherfucker that ordered it, I'd probably eat it. Customer called and complained their soup their sub was soupy. 12 inch double meat steak and cheese. Italian urban cheese bread, pepper jack cheese, green peppers, more, onions more, banana peppers more, peppercorn ranch sauce, no more. Baja chipotle sauce, more. Roasted garlic aioli, more. Salt, pepper, parmesan cheese, toasted. Okay, well, you do it to yourself, you do. And that's what really hurts. Eat shit. <laughs> He's dead, dude. I mean, that's basic. They essentially got five sauces. Because they got two with double the sauce. 
and then one with the regular amount of sauce. You're absolutely right. At that point, you've just ordered a soup. Subway workers, after you tell them you want a sub. You, how long? Okay, you know what? I'll give that a plus two. Uh, what about this one that says POV the mayo? What the heck was that sound? When the drain is clogged, so you have to clear the drussy? Okay, I hate that. Hate that for sure. You know what? But if I hate it, that means the post succeeded. So I'm going to give that a plus two. But this one just says POV, you're the mayo bottle. And it's the Pepe, like leaning, I guess right-handed, leaning back to punch. But they got the Subway hat on. I guess mayo is probably the most popular condiment at Subway. And people like a lot of it. How are you hating on mayo? There's no hate. I, I'm just not that big of a mayo head. I like the exact amount that a, a sandwich place chooses to put on the sandwich if they put it on. If they don't put it on, I don't think that I know better than the sandwich artist. We qualified? That's kind of insane. Oh, no, I meant the entirety of chat. Okay, fair enough. Dear Subway customers, don't ramble off all four of your subs before I ask you what type of bread. Please take your 50-pound child off our front counter while I'm ringing you up. Why are you asking if we have a certain type of cookie that is not displayed? Obviously, we don't have it. Stop blocking the door when you come in. There's room for one customer to form a line in the opposite direction only. Our tips are not to help you cover your purchase, even if it's a few cents. Get your nasty fingers out of the tip jar. Grown-ass adults did this. We don't take coupons. There's three signs on the line for it. Yes, we're out of avocado. I understand you come here often. I come here even more often, so I know how to make your sub better than you do. Do you have tuna? I don't know, ma'am. Do you see it on our line? Oh, great, you do? Then yes, we have it. I don't want my steak toasted. Okay, well, it's going to be ice cold. That's fine. So just to be sure you don't want me to heat it up, oh, please heat it up. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying you should love your job if you work at Subway. It all sounds very frustrating. Sorry, I'm still looking at more Subways. I mean, it's mostly like a lot of Subways that have been vandalized. I hate when people tap the glass and say, I want this one. Do people actually, anyone here ever worked at a Subway? Do people do that? They tap on the glass and say, give me that. That's... Do you understand how optics work? <laughs> I've done that when I was 12. That's fine, but like as an adult, people do it all the time. That's crazy, man. There's actually like less than 10 things in the subway deck. You got to you got to learn the names, man. Just can't stop thinking about how how much I hate the gray man. Oh, Subway React. What was I thinking? Our customers be asking for a whole bunch of black, black olives on their sub. I'm looking at this sub. Uh, it's disgusting. It's not disgusting because of the olives. There's that. How much sauce do you get on your sandwich? I think I'm, a, I'm a, maybe a two-line mustard guy. This has some Southwest sauce that's honestly as thick as a hot dog. And then mayo underneath it that's as thick as a hot dog. And then some, like... Uh, one more sauce. I don't even know. This is just sub sauce, I think, that's as thick as a hot dog. That's got to be like like 200 milliliters of sauce on their sandwich. That's too much, man. Yeah, that's not even a sandwich anymore. It's a sauce switch. So true. Anyway, I want more sauce than bread. I mean, I'm just, I'm not trying to be a hater on your Subway order. Unless the workers hate it, in which case I stand with them. But... Like, it just seems like a lot of sauce. I mean, I can give you my Subway order. It's, not, it's actually boring. Because you're literally eating at the most boring restaurant of all time. Of course it's boring. Footlong, oven roasted chicken. I'm fairly bread agnostic. I don't really care. But if, if, if I'm choosing for taste, you got to go Italian herbs and cheese. Cheese and toasted is a gimme. I can't believe they even have to ask the question. Then... For, for toppings or ingredients, whatever you'd like to call them. Lettuce, tomato. Tomato's a recent addition for me. Red onion, skip the green pepper. Let me get some pickles. Let me get some olives. Yellow mustard, and I'm out. That's it. It's a very simple, 
It's a very simple process for me. You're my, you can't minus two my order. Yellow mustard is just sad. I'm very smart. I think that there's actually a huge difference between all the mustards and whatever a mustard you order says a lot about your personality. Yellow mustard? You only eat that when you're having a hot dog at Wrigley Field. I have a college degree now. I eat Dijon. This would make any damn difference, man. This beautiful circle luck. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, it's just... The game gave me a free dub. What can you say? There was nothing else. They, they had no chance. What are they going to do with that loadout? There's nothing they could do. Here's my tip for today. It's two quarters and four pennies. That's 54 cents in tips. I will say, if, if you're a Subway franchisee, you should just add the tip question to the debit machine when people pay. Like, you don't tip at Subway. But we're tipping at places we shouldn't be tipping out, tipping at anyway. Like I, I go to a bakery sometimes. I get Kate some macarons. There's a little tip section at the end. What you, but you, I went up to the counter and said, I'll have six macarons. And then they gave me a box with six macarons in it. What's the tip for? I don't understand. Like it's not, we've not, we, you're absolutely right. North America has capitulated in the war on tips. If, if we're completely capitulating in the war on tips, then sure, Subway should have... It should have a tip suggest. Would I, I would tip 10% on my Subway order. The person who's making my sandwich does more for me than like, you know, the barista does when I order a cold brew. They're just pouring uh, like a pitcher into a cup. I, tip, I would tip for both, to be honest, obviously. But as a Subway employee for four years now, what's the most bizarre thing that's happened in your store? Employees dropping dead while washing dishes. People found dead from overdoses in the bathrooms, guns in the bathrooms, old lady drove through the front window, robberies at gunpoint. Where the hell do you work? Philly? Someone said Philly? They said, no, Detroit. <laughs> okay. Holy cow. A guy came into our kitchen and pissed in the sink, then wiped his hands on the nearest apron, looked around for a sec, then went to sleep in the bathroom. Holy cow. This is some crazy shit goes down at Subway, man. Just started a few weeks ago, but had a group of three people come into the store with a TV. They plugged it in, and after that, they unplugged it and left the store. That's pretty funny. That's like being the guy who wears pajamas and brings like a bowl of cereal to your morning lecture in, in undergrad. I think that's funny. Guy came in last week. You could tell he had a few screws loose. Talking crazy about random shit that makes no sense. He said he wanted the Bella Maz. Co-worker asked if he wanted the veggies as they come, or did he want it different? He looked at the menu and said, The Bella Maz, Black Forest Ham, Gabagool, Bella Giozio, Fresh Mozzarella, and listed the ingredients, which I haven't memorized yet three times in a row. And he would go, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Oh, man. The, literally, the, I got to read this whole thing. I'm sorry. You can leave if you want. <clears throat> but this is, this is baffling. Literally today, this guy comes in, he looks about 60, but he's pulling 60 well. Good hairline and everything. I welcome him in and shit, it's only him and me in the store. He says, hey, got a question for you. I tell him to ask away. He asks if we sell six inch bread, which not technically at my store, but I could have done it anyway. He explains why he's trying to get six inch bread. Me and my wife are making meatball subs back at the house and I went everywhere and nowhere is selling six inch bread. I look at this man puzzled, thinking he meant grocery stores are just out of long bread. I ask him, they don't have like 12-inch bread you can just buy already baked? And he says, well, they don't have 6-inch. He doesn't understand. Okay, well, it's not as exciting as I thought it was, honestly. It's just, I guess maybe Subway is not that exciting. Unless you get robbed. It's just people coming in not understanding that 6 inches is half of 12 inches. Subway needs to stop fancying up the names of our ingredients. It's called artisan Italian bread. The loaves are farted out into a cardboard box by a machine. All we do is thaw and bake them. They are not handmade. It is not an artisan product, and it is also not from Italy. So somehow calling it artisan Italian bread contains two lies in just as many words. Okay, good point. Hardy multigrain. It's whole wheat bread. We call it wheat. All of our customers except first-time shoppers call it wheat. It's wheat bread with seeds in the dough. You're not getting extra business by calling it hearty multigrain. 
You're just adding extra words for the 60-year-old woman across the counter before, to say before I can ask her the next thing. Also, added to this section, it's not actually whole wheat. It's only half whole wheat flour. It also has more sugar than the rest of the bread. Italian herbs and cheese. A bit less atrocious, but still not from Italy or Italian style. That's fair. Oven roasted turkey. It's not roasted in an oven. It's cooked on a massive production line in a factory in an industrial cooker you could hide a Honda Civic in. Okay, Black Forest ham, not sourced from the Bla Black Forest region of Germany. That I could give them, like, that's a bit of a who cares for me. But Gabagool, no lies here. Just why do we need this? No one orders it. Everyone says it wrong. Seems like a filler item. Grilled chicken breast. Again, the grill is a massive industrial cooker. I don't know how it's legal to market something as chicken when it's also 50% soy. Baja rotisserie chicken. There's nothing Baja about this. They don't even do rotisserie chicken in Baja, California. It's probably not even rotisserie cooked because it's called rotisserie style. Shit's pretty bussin' though. Okay, for real, for real. I mean, there's a lot here. They, they went off. Anyway, I'm going to send you over to my wife's stream. It's a good post. Clearly, they, that's the sort of post you, you workshop in your head when you're doing an eight-hour shift. I can respect that. Enjoy your subway. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a, have a nice night.